أول كلمة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته أشكر جزيلا على الحضور في هذه المناسبة نرحب بكم من أجل حضور مناقشة شهادة الدكتورة ألم ديري طالبة شهادة فيزا اسمحوا لي في بداية لبدء أن أنا أعطيكم فقط بعض المعلومات حول المداخلة والمناقشة بالطبع في بداية الأمر سأعطي الكلمة إلى الطالبة من أجل تقديم عملها وذلك يكون ما بين 30 إلى 40 دقيقة وبعد ذلك بالطبع ننتقل إلى النقاش مع الأساتذة الكرام هناك لا ممكن يمكنكم طرح أي أسئلة أو كومنتير سي بوزافي على الفان ولما تنتهي المناقشة حسب المعلومات لو جيري باكي تي لا سال بو ديليبيري اي لا سيستونس دو لاستيسي باك تو انجلش ليديز اند جنتلمان تاك يو فيري ماتش فور كيمينغ لونغ هي تو ديك فيري ماتش فور كيمينغ لونغ بي اتش تي بريزنتيشن اوف فيز شاهد فيزا سو فور ذات اي ام ان ذا بيجينينغ اي ام جيفينغ يور اون ايديا اباوت ذا ديفنس رول سو ان ذا بيجينينغ ذا ستودنت ويل جيف ها سبيتش ان 30 تو 40 مينوتس ذان افتر ذات وي ويل جيف ذا ديسكاشن تو ذا جيري ممبرز اكوردينغ تو ماي نوليس سو ذير از وان ممبر هو از ابسنت بات ذيس ويل نوت ديستارب ذا ذا بريزنتيشن اند ذا ديفنس سو ثانكس اوت اجين اند اف يو ار ريدي Shad Feza, you will uh, today present your uh, doctoral thesis titled Study of Structural Electronics and Optical Properties of Second Six Semiconductor Alloy of initial, initial Investigation. For that, I will give you between 30 to 40 minutes to present the essential parts of your work. So, please. <coughs> السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. في البدء أتقدم بالشكر الجزيل إلى السادة أعضاء لجنة المناقشة على قبولهم مناقشة هذا العمل بداية من السيد رئيس اللجنة الأستاذ مهكا أحمد، السادة الأعضاء الممتحنين من داخل جامعة تيسنسيل الممثلين بالأستاذ أحمد فتح الله، ومن خارج جامعة تيسنسيل نرحب بالأستاذ الناصر حمزة ونعتذر له عن مشقة السفر. كما أتقدم بالشكر الجزيل إلى الأستاذ المشرف على هذا العمل الأستاذ جودي الأخضر ومساعده الأستاذ مشرف محمد كما لا ننسى أعضاء لجنة التكوين في الدكتورة وعلى رأسهم الأستاذ مختار محمد الذي أتاح لنا هذه الفرصة القيمة الأستاذ بن علي صلاح الدين والأستاذ مرابط مصطفى وكذا جميع أساتذتي أساتذة قسم علوم المادة بكلية العلوم والتكنولوجيا لجامعة تيسنسيت كما نرحب بالأساتذة من كلية الأدب السيد العميد السيد أمين العام avec une étude AB initio. In English, we can say study of the structural, electronic and optical properties of the semiconductor law of the 2-6 family with an AB initio investigation. I would like to divide this talk into five parts. First of all, I will start with a simple introduction. Then I will move on to the semiconductor materials, more precisely of family 2-6. Next, I will go on to the most important parts, methods and details of calculation, and I, and I will finish with a conclusion and an outlook. The main goal of material physics is to develop and ameliorate materials to get new properties. Among these elements, we will focus on the semiconductor materials of family 2, 6. These are made up of one or more elements of the sixth with one or more elements of the second canon of the periodic classification. <coughs> Turning now to the calculation methodology. The calculations in this study are performed based on the density functional theory. We have employed the full potential linearized augmented plane wave method. Besides, the exchange correlation potential is described by HDAPB and TBMBG approximations implemented in the computer code WIN2K. Primary calculations were performed to study the structural and electronic properties of the binary compounds of family 26 CDS, CDTE, MGS, and MGTE in the zinc blend structure, in which the methylene rise and the number of key points are presented in this table. The determination of the structural properties is a very important step to know more information about material to study. Let me begin by presenting the lattice constant 
bulk models and its first derivative with some theoretical and experimental data for comparison. We see the reasonable agreement with the theoretical data. We remark also small deviations of the lattice constants from the experimental values. The impact of the electronic properties of a, comp a compound results in the fact that it allows us to analyze and understand the nature of the bonds that form different elements of these materials. As far as these uh, pro uh, properties in this study consist of the bend structure. Here we have shortened the, the bend structures on the left by using GGA and on the right by MBG. Clearly visible from both figures is the presence of direct bend gaps in all the binary compounds. In the following table, we have listed the gap energies calculated by the two approximations. It is clear that the MBG significantly corrects the energy gaps. But even this data, that means MBG, is no longer valid to properly reproduce the exchange correlation potential. Let's have a look, now, a look at the deviations, please. Uh, what about this geothermal alloy? To estimate the lattice parameters, we have performed a list of calculations for different concentrations of CD and TE compositions with 0.25 step value. And according to this, these results, the lattice constant of our cuternaries have a very small deviation and slowly increases when the cadmium is added and has a small deviation and increases quickly when tellurium is added. To estimate, and uh, it is very clear from the, the following table that the calculated bank modulus decreases and its brochure derivative increases when increasing tellurium composition. Now, let's talk about the critical thickness. It's defined as the uh, thickness at which the first misfit dislocation creates. As you can see, its expression depends basically on the lattice mismatch. For our quaternaries, matches CDS and CDTE. that achieve less than 4% as a lattice mismatching to CDS and CDTE. Our calculations showed that CDS is the most favored as a substrate than CDTE. In order to estimate the effect of, the cat, uh, of cadmium and tellurium concentrations, we have plotted the electronic band structure matched to CDS and or CDTE using GGA PBE and TB, uh, PBE and TBMBG. Both figures show that our quaternaries have a direct gap at gamma gamma points. And in order to examine the accuracy of our band structure results, we have similarly plotted the band structure and total density of the state side by side, and this of course confirm the, confirms the semiconductor behavior of our quaternaries. The calculated direct band gaps obtained by the GGAPB and TBMBG are clearly exposed in this table. <coughs> it should be noted that the cadmium induced leads to, the, to a decrease in the direct band gaps over a large range of uh, about uh, 40% and the tellurium induced, induced leads to a decrease in the direct band gaps over a range of 18%. As I said previously, that even MBG is no longer valid to properly reproduce, reproduce the exchange correlation potential. We have presented a formula, corrective term, delta E. Incorporating an adjustment, an adjustment factor aimed at improving direct band gaps. These delta E values are determined by this specific equation. 
And according to the results plotted in uh, this figure, the direct band gaps, depending on cadmium and tellurium concentrations, can be fitted as follows. These results show that the direct band gaps have a small deviation and decreases when the cadmium and tellurium are added. Here we have listed the novel, the novel obtained band gaps. The resulting wavelength lengths are clearly limited to the range of 300 to 500 nanometer, corresponding to the band gap energy span of 2.48 to 3.96 electron volts. Turning now to the optical properties to describe the optical parameters quantitatively, it is crucial to assess the, the dielectric function. Its real part, its real part gives us information about the dielectric response to a static electric field. However, the, image, the imaginary part can determine the energy gap. In this sense, we have plotted the real and imaginary parts of the electric function by using MBG. And, is, uh, and as it is shown in this table, the static dielectric constants are proportional with CD and TE concentrations. However, the E0 decreases with the increase in CD and TE concentrations. The calculated electronic and optoelectronic opti properties clearly show a linear decrease in the band gaps and an increase in the refractive index with the increase uh, in CD and RTE amounts. Conclude with this modest work provided a brief overview of the structural and electronic properties of the binary compound CDS, CDTE, MGS, and MGTE, and their quaternary alloy uh, with the 0.25 step, uh, step value. In the first place, the calculated structural parameters are in a whole in a way confirming the theoretical and experimental results. Our simulation also asserts that the binary studies studied belongs to the semiconductor family with direct band gaps. The calculated direct band gaps with TV and VG are null and underestimated by above these values than the experimental data for the four binaries. Then we saw the effect of the incorporated atoms. CD and TE on the structural, electronic, and optical properties of uh, our quaternary alloys. The calculated band gap <coughs> structures indicate that both the, the uh, quaternary match CDS and CDTE compounds exhibit a direct gap at the gamma gamma point within the range of 2.45 to 3. 96 electron volt. This range corresponds to, to wavelengths between uh, uh, 500 to 300 nanometer. Hence, uh, the, our uh, quaternary uh, quaternary system holds significant promise promise as material for semiconductor lasers designed uh, to function within the ultraviolet and blue spectral range. Adhering to the lattice match in requirement, the electronic and optoelectronic properties of our quaternaries demonstrate a consistent decline in band gaps and a rise in the refractive index as the level of CD and RTE increase. In summary, we have formulated an expression incorporating a collective factor to compute direct band gaps utilizing the TBMBG method. Our results indicate that CDS presents a preferable alternative to CDTE within the, uh, uh, the quaternary system. Can 
Subsequently, both combinations of CDS or CBTE exhibit promise for optoelectronic applications. The present work accounts for the considerable attenuations that undergo the semiconductors without an AB initial study of two six semiconductors, structural and electro uh, electronic and optical properties. However, we have not yet explored other properties like elastic ones. As a matter of fact, this study found a starting point for further loss attempts. I hope my rather rapid explanation was clear. Thank you for your attention.